big picture, putting these two together. I mean, it looks uh, on the face of it as if we're talking about two very different types of recovery in Germany and the UK, right? Uh, indeed, uh, there, there is a lot of evidence for that. Uh, however, this is just one month's data. If you look a bit through the monthly volatility, then uh, the UK manufacturing sector is also expanding in the, sec in the third quarter. So far, it's been up 0.5%. Germany's, after the strong August data, is up 0.6%. So both have a bit of a manufacturing re recovery. But in Germany, manufacturing is a quarter of the economy. In the UK, it's mm -hmm. a bit more than 10%. Mm -hmm. So it's much more important what's going on in Germany. It seems that uh, Germany has an investment-driven uh, recovery, whereas the UK has a consumer-led one. Yeah, I, OK. I, I, I expected you to say that, and we'll come on to Germany in a minute. Let me just stick with the UK. Um, there seems to be this, this huge divergence between the mood uh, and actually what's happening in the economy. Is it fair to say that? Indeed, if you look at manufacturing PMIs, so a, a good gauge of uh, confidence in the manufacturing sector, in the UK that's around the 57 level, um, that would suggest very strong growth and uh, the data so far for the third quarter has certainly lift, not lived up uh, to that expectation. So yes, in the UK there is a big divergence between the mood in the economy and what's really going on. And, and what is your, I mean there, there's been so much debate about this consumer-led recovery, the, the housing-led recovery, w what is your take on, on that and how sustainable is that well, it's good, first of all, to have a recovery. Um, so uh, monetary policy in the UK is working. Low interest rates are boosting the housing market and uh, consumption. Consumers save less. And that's uh, boosting demand. And ultimately, supply will probably follow. And uh, therefore, industrial production is also likely to follow. So we think that what looks like an unsustainable recovery at the moment uh, will morph into something more sustainable going to, into next year. So growth rates may not be as high as they have been over the summer and will slow down a little next year, but they could be become more sustainable. So we're, we're, we're not thinking that all is lost.